Hello and welcome to another VidiSpine tutorial. Today, we'll be going over the basic data modeled entities. Understanding entities and how they relate to each other within the data model will provide a valuable foundation for understanding other concepts. What are entities? As shown in the diagram, a group of these entities make up what is called the asset in VidiSpine. The relationship between entities in VidiSpine also illustrates how these can be organized in a logical manner. We'll start by describing the item, the most important entity to make the asset and the centerpiece for the data model. The item is the abstraction of physical content, more commonly understood as essence, and also contains the content's information in the form of metadata. Metadata is not exclusive to the item entity. Other items can also hold metadata. However, items have the most extensive options when it comes to metadata. Along with being able to hold time-based metadata, items also contain information on the way they are accessed and how they can be interacted with. This is known as access control, which exists for items, collections, and libraries. Shapes are the different versions, formats, in which an item may be available. For video, a shape may be a low-res version of the video used for editing purposes. Documents may also have shapes. These can be in the form of images or text. Shapes may come with one or more shape tags. Shape tags are used by VidiSpine whenever a file is selected for it to be transcoded, exported, or thumbnailed. Whenever a file is imported, the source file gets a special shape tag. It's important to note that formats are not the same as versions. A format might be the MP4 transcoded from the original. However, a version is a version 1 or version 2 or version 3 of the original format. This happens if, for example, you are uploading new edits over time after making creative changes. Next, we'll take a look at what makes a shape tag. Each shape may have more than one component. The shape can be a video component, an audio component, or a container component. Each of these components corresponds to a single file. However, there may be several copies of a file. Also, each component contains technical metadata. This may include information on the codes, resolutions, frame rate, and more. The file entity in VidiSpine is directly coupled with a physical file within a file system, which are stored in storages. VidiSpine storages are classified into different types, each intended for a different purpose and with different operations applied to them. Adding new files into the storage Moving, deleting, or transcoding them account for some of the different operations. Next, we have libraries. Libraries act as a list of items that allow for a shared search, with search results dynamically updated based on the query. Additionally, libraries can also be used when creating rules. This makes them ideal for batch operations. Last but not least, we have collections. Collections function as a list which groups together other entities, items, libraries, as well as other collections. In order to better differentiate between collections and libraries, a collection works more like a file system folder. Libraries, on the other hand, are generated from a search operation. And that's it. Now we have gone through the different entities of the basic data model.